But you've just got yourself a brand new Kali machine, a fresh install with limitless possibility. But what are the top 5 things you should configure? Well, I'm WJPS for Cybergraded and today we're going to be looking at exactly what we should configure. So as is the case with most virtual machines when you first launch them, the resolution might be a bit messed up, so come down to view, the bottom option, scale to 100 and sort to 1920 by 1080. Now I'm using a 27 inch HD monitor, obviously your monitor might be slightly different, but these are the settings that I use. You can have a play about with them here as well. The next thing we want to configure is the network settings. So if we come over to devices, network, and then settings. Now there's a bunch of different settings we could play around with here. So it's going to be on NAT by default, which is network address translation, and it basically means your virtual machine can use your local LANs network. So if you're setting up a lab, you might want to use internal network, meaning VMs can talk to each other, but for our case, NAT is totally fine. Now, you could do a whole video on how to do port forwarding and different VM network settings, but for now, we're just going to leave it on NAT. Now, the same process for any fresh Linux install, we need to make sure our dependencies and our local packages are up to date. So if we open a terminal and the first thing we need to type is sudo apt update and we let that run. And don't be alarmed if yours takes a lot longer than this. I'm about to cut out a section so you don't have to watch a loading screen. Now that's all finished, we need to run sudo apt upgrade hyphen y and the hyphen y is just going to say yes to everything so we're not having to sit at the computer and hit yes because this does take a while this one so again I'll cut some. We are now going to install git and we do this with sudo apt hyphen get hyphen install space get hyphen all. You will see when I try to download it, it will error out, and that's because I already have a copy of git installed. And I'll show you that with git hyphen hyphen version. Now you're probably thinking to yourself, well, I'm not a programmer. I'm not gonna be committing any local code to any remote repositories. I don't really need git. Well, let me tell you, it's actually a really useful tool to have, even if you're not a programmer. If you're planning on downloading any useful tools like Nmap scanners, GoBuster, Hydra, or a code editor of your choice that's open source, and you want to download it from GitHub, the best way to do it is to go onto the repository, hit clone, and then hit get clone and download it. And you won't be able to do that without a local version of Git installed. So here we can see I'm just downloading the Nmap repository, and you can see it will appear on my desktop. And to run Nmap, we need Python, but don't worry, Kali already comes with Python too. Python hyphen hyphen version, and we can see that it's pre-installed. Now we've done what I consider to be the essential things when first launching a new Linux VM. We can now go in and set ourselves a low privileged user, and we do that with sudo add user and then the name. And it'll ask you to assign them a password, it'll ask you to confirm the password, and then ask you for a bunch of details that you can just leave blank. Hit yes, this is correct. And there we go, we've added our first user. We need to add that user to the sudo group so they can download and install packages and we do that with sudo user mod hyphen a capital G sudo and then the name of your user and now add them to the sudoers group given the user you've just created admin privileges when they've typed the correct password. The final thing we're going to install today is a program called Terminator. Now Terminator is what I consider to be an absolute essential program when you're doing any sort of reconnaissance and we do that with sudo apt hyphen get install terminator. Now, if for some reason this errors out the first time you try it, sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't, I could not tell you why, just try running sudo apt update again and that should resolve your problems. So what is terminator, I hear you ask, and how do we run it? Well, we run it by just simply typing terminator. Terminator is basically a terminal multiplexer and it allows us to have multiple terminal windows open at the same time. Now, what would be the use of this? Well, if you're in the early stages of a penetration test and you're still in the reconnaissance stage, you're going to be exploring directories, you're going to be taking that output and putting it into a text file, you're going to be wanting to run an nmap scan, perhaps at the same time, so you can know where to look on the machine. And basically, trying to do all those things at once is going to be a giant pain if you are switching between different terminals. This is basically a way to keep it clean, tidy, organized. You can see exactly where you are, run multiple softwares at the same time without getting sort of muddled up or lost with where you are. So the very last thing that I would install on a fresh Kali virtual box is a VPN. Now there's loads of user choice when it comes to VPN, how you configure it, which country you connect to, which provider you're gonna go with. 
So I don't have time to show you that today, but keep your eyes peeled for a free VPN configuration video over the next few weeks. Thanks for watching. If you're still around, drop me a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one.